Now let's take a look at the create table syntax. Here is a syntax diagram for the create table command. The simplest form of the create table command would be create table, table name, plus relational properties, since we're going to be building relational tables primarily. The grayed out parts are all generally physical aspects for database objects. This will apply to all the syntax diagrams in this course. Physical aspects of database objects are generally all database administration. Database administration will be covered in a subsequent course. These red parts here apply to constraints which we will cover later on in this course. The two types of tables we really want to cover at this stage are the relational tables, which is create table, table name, relational properties, and temporary tables, which is create global temporary table, and the option of on commit, delete, or preserve rows. Let's go into a little bit more detail. Here's an example of a relational table creation. I'm creating the act table in the concept schema with two columns. The first is a number type that's not nullable. The second is a name which is not nullable. The last four lines are constraint definitions. Once again, we'll cover constraints later on. Here is an example of a temporary table creation command. Create global temporary table. The table is called shows. The fields in it are a varchar or string variable called act and a string variable called venue. By on commit preserve rows, what I'm saying is that when I type the commit command, the rows will not be automatically deleted from the temporary table. They will remain in the table for the life of the session and thereafter. Here's a simple insert command to add data to this table. 